I kept hoping they were going to extend the role, you know, expand it, but they didn't. <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun to do. You know, they invited me to be part of the franchise, and I thought that would be just a gas. I'm a big fan of the, of the um, of all of the movies. The weird thing was, is I saw it, and I I knew Kathy Griffin's voice, so I knew she's the head witch. I had no idea which voice was mine. I could not pick out my own voice. And I was talking to Mary Kay Place yesterday. She had the same problem. She wasn't sure which voice was hers. So it's weird when you're suddenly a character and you read every line so you don't know which ones they're going to pick. You have no idea. And it's out of context. You don't know the rest of the film. You just, they put up the scene of Rumpelstiltskin and, and he's with a table and he's asking the witches the question and you play off him. But that's about it. It was, right. was strange. Right. I'm just glad it was, when they first said it was witch, I thought, I wasn't sure they meant bitch. So I was just relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going to make a toy of me, but that would be kind of cool. Um, it, you know what? It's just a fun... My part is so tiny, but the, the franchise itself is so large and so... Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful series of films. So I'm proud to even have a little part of it. Uh, it it's just a neat little thing. It's, you know, in terms of my kids, too even though they're bigger, just that mom did that is sort of, it, I think it means more to them than me interviewing the president on today. That's sort of sad, but. Mm -hmm.